Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Um, this really isn't a new video, it's actually a new update. If you guys remember one of my first couple videos, I showed you guys my Civil Air Patrol 72 hour bag. Well, I actually haven't been in the South Dakota Civil Air Patrol for some time now, but this gear is worth keeping around for camping or hiking trips or anything like that. However, I still like to make updates on this stuff. Uh, you know, obviously you're going to have to replace some stuff. And I wanted to show you guys that I replaced... Okay, so if you remember my first one, I had that large Alice pack stuffed. I managed to get it all into a medium Alice pack. And here it is. Now this uh, is a medium Alice pack from 2003. So you'll note that it has longer and sewed ends on the main compartment straps to keep it from going all the way out like here it has a different style US stamp it has a set of grommets here and then that's it still I use the same frame from the large one so these straps are the same and one of the biggest additions I made to it was this guy the Rothko um, machete with a US made uh, sheath alright so let's tear it up and see how it looks okay guys and that's everything so from the three uh, exterior pockets I carry those five MREs now, most people on first glance see these and think, oh, they're the no good civilian ones. Well, they're actually the uh, pretty much a low calorie ones um, that I picked up here near Ellsworth or on Ellsworth. Um, but here's everything that I keep in there now I got long johns, three pairs of underwear, got two pairs of socks, and uh, hand towel, two pairs of more socks, and another hand towel, another MRE, so a total of six MREs, toiletries bag, um, eye drops, deodorant, uh, shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, comb, that kind of stuff. Just stuff that, um, you know, you can get at, uh, hotels and stuff. I know I stock, stock up on them, and I know you guys do, too. A <laughs> um, pair of non-latex gloves, um, earplugs, an extra uh, memo pad, um, cat eye tape. You can get this. Uh, I got this on BX, at the BX. Or uh, glow-in-the-dark tape, reflective tape. Sun dust and wind goggles. Uh, these are the newer ones with the ballistic lenses. And then I got some non ballistic uh, tinted neutral gray lenses. Some, one of those survival wraps. Uh, bandage. Casualty blanket, lightweight. Uh, another pressure bandage. A five gallon bag. Uh, moleskin, that's definitely important. You can never run out of moleskin. This is a little interesting bag. It's got extra buttons, tiny flashlight, a, two sewing kits, some uh, notes, or uh, not note, um, post postcards, Alice clips, an extra compass, book of matches, um, a trioxine, uh, burn gel and then one of those dollar ninety nine one and done uh, lightweight ponchos that you can make a shelter out of if you needed to extra um, oh my god I can't think of the name extra 550 cord batteries for the Lackland laser actually these are also for the uh, angle head um, those ones are for the Lackland laser the general purpose first aid kit, the dressing 
sponge, two garbage bags. Over here I have the waterproof clothing bag. The machete, like I said, mounted on the Alice pack. The two quart canteen with the um, general purpose strap in the bottom and water purification tablets. And then on this side, you got to counter the weight, the E-Tool. And then on the inside is the uh, tent, which the pup tent has all the stakes um, and all the poles, so I'm not separating it with anybody. And the whole tent is unissued. And then inside that, I keep it all in a NBC nuclear, biological, and chemical bag that you can pick up for as low as $10. They're really good. They're waterproofed, and they're really adjustable. Um, like I said, uh, so this is my updated gear. Um, since I'm not in Civil Air Patrol anymore, you know, obviously I don't need to carry the shoe shine kit, and I could definitely take out some of this stuff. But, um, for my people, cadets, or whoever's watching, is in fact Civil Air Patrol, then I do want you to know that machetes are not authorized unless you are a, uh, team leader or a senior member. Um, so definitely don't go out and buy that if you're not one of those ground team leaders and senior members. Remember that. Um, and even then, I don't think they carry them. Uh, my unit or squadron, I don't think they ever really did either. Um, but yeah, definitely the key components here that some people forget is foot powder and moleskin. Guys, God wouldn't give us legs if he didn't want us to walk. But you can't walk if you got blisters, constant wet feet, and... Oh, yeah. Don't get trench foot. Just take care of your feet. Like what Lieutenant Dan said. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions about this stuff, just let me know. I've been meaning to do this update for a little while now. Um, so, yeah. See you guys later.